I don't know what happens when the when the battery is finished. Does the car stop working? <laughs> because obviously the the, the car needs the, the the key to switch on. So does that mean the car will stop working? Like I, I don't. I'm on a hunting spree. I'm looking for a skirt that goes with this top. There's a brown skirt that goes with this top. I want to wear it tomorrow. And I can't find it anywhere here. Like, <laughs> I seriously need a wardrobe declutter because where is my skirt? Like, where is my skirt? been searching and searching and searching and I still can't find it <laughs> Ooh. wow okay uh, I can't remember where this were let me put this here as an alternative Thank God, but guess what? The last place that you check is always where the thing is. After such the entire wardrobe, damn. <laughs> Whew, I'm even sweating from doing all the searching. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is so funny. Like, after so much work, after so much work, and also I keep saying I don't have clothes, but the amount of clothes I keep surfacing from the bag of the wardrobe. Ooh. Also, this is why I planned my outfits the night before because, wow, imagine doing this early in the morning. Wow. Finally!
morning my loves welcome back to another vlog uh welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Danielle Mop and I hope you like it enough to stay and subscribe and become part of the family so please go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and please don't forget to like and comment in the comment section please leave me some hearts and yeah don't forget to share with your loved ones and tell them that there is this cool girl called to know more that they need to check out and please don't skip the ads anyway um it is a tuesday morning and you know tuesdays are for the office those who have been around so yeah i'm about to do my simple makeup look that i always do so remember the shade that i bought the other day that i said um i didn't know whether it was going to be a proper fit i think the color i mean the shade is perfect for me um the other one i had it was number 324 and then now i bought 332 so the last time i went to just get that lady played me like she really played me by giving me 324 she was basically saying Ye chonga san, you are light. Kante, it was a mismatch and that shade was too light. I had to mix it with other colors. But this one, perfect shade. I think it's perfect, as you can see, blending seamless into my skin. I think Fit Me has been one of my favorite uh, foundations ever since I discovered it. It's been good to me and I've been using it ever since because it blends very well with my skin and when I have it on people always ask me what do I use so meaning it looks good especially after it has set and it becomes yeah a little bit mad sometimes it becomes glowy when it's too humid and it's too hot and it still looks good when it's like that as well so yeah but anyway, let me get ready for work and then we will chat uh, throughout the day. So yeah, I'm going to be taking you guys with me to work today. Let's do uh, corporate diaries today. Let's do corporate diaries. So we go into the office together. So I'm going to see you guys when I prepare my lunchbox and we go to the office so yeah let me continue doing this you see got it right got it right no two shades perfect color coverage not the best but also i don't put a lot either so i like it you know
change my key battery. Ah. Let me actually go take my spare keys. I wanna give the world all the truth of me. Cause I didn't put me here to leave a legacy. I just came back from work and I instantly changed into my workout gear because today is the 1st of October and I am doing a challenge 30 days soft challenge and that means I have to exercise for the next 30 days as in like every day so because today is work day I obviously went into the office so I couldn't work out early in the morning so now I have to do it in the afternoon and as I was walking in, I had myself making excuses for that. Girl, girl. So I changed instantly into my clothes so I can show up. But yeah, I wanna, yo, I wanna be a consistent girl. Yo, while I be like, it's tiring. To be a consistent girl, a disciplined girl, you, it takes a lot out of a person. But anyway, I'm back. I had a good day at the office. So, <laughs> one of the things I want to speak about is the fact that today um, I was hosting a meeting um, for for something, right? So, I don't usually host meetings. I'm usually a, a spectator. I, I get invited to meetings and attend and whatever because I'm not in a management level. So, I usually, you know, go as a plus one or, you know, get invited to those meetings for discussions, but I'm not usually the one who's heading up the meetings. So today I had to head up a meeting and oh my God, in my mind when I was preparing, everything was going well and I was doing so well. And yeah, I, I had a perfect plan. And then when I got into the meeting, hi son, 
you know you say your own things you go with the flow but the imposter syndrome starts kicking in as like are you doing it correctly you're doing it wrong you're doing it you know so i had that thing you know so after the meeting i was beating myself up wondering like how did i do did i do it well like you know i was just sitting there consoling myself but also like you know pondering on the fact that i didn't do well and guess what happens just after 20 minutes i was chilling there our director comes because she was part of the meeting you know and uh i think that's also one of the things that also i was you know the imposter syndrome was kicking in because i was presenting to directors i was in charge of the meeting and presenting to different directors so our director for department came to me and she was like oh you did well but the meeting was sitting short and straight to the point well done everything is going well and i'm, I'm just like what me who <laughs> I couldn't believe it like I couldn't believe it after that I was so relieved that I was so relieved you know the joys of having uh, a boss that continuously encourages you and gives you a, a yay and a high five every time you do something is really nice because if she didn't come to say that to me trust me I would still be beating myself up even now for that meeting I'll be like yo yo what what was I saying what did I do you know so yeah um self-doubt and imposter syndrome guys yo something i need to work on yo i need to work on it because right here on the camera i'm free and i'm doing it um seamlessly i do it the way i want it's easy maybe because there's no audience the audience is you guys but only afterwards like you know when i upload these things i'm the one who edit these things and whereas um, if i mess up i can always start over again but in the workspace, in a live meeting, if you mess up, you mess up. <laughs> so I need to stop being hard on myself um, and understand that, you know what, we got this. Because I think me, the presenting, I'm the one who started, you know, making mistakes because I started doubting myself. But something I gotta fix. Those are one of the challenges of being a corporate gay. And you have to... Uh, you know face those things. I think one thing we're not taught at, sc at school is the soft skills uh, I think I was listening to this conversation yesterday on Gagasi FM. They were talking about how um, At school they don't teach you soft skills They don't teach you that you need to have a personality You need to be able to interact with people You need to be able to communicate with people when you get to a workspace You're not always gonna be alone. You're gonna need to work within a team and communicate with people present and all of that stuff although i've been doing it for years i still get shy when i need to do it like my stage fright never goes away and i don't know why and maybe it's probably because i don't present a lot most of the time but yeah hey i did it i did it so yeah anyway let's get on with the day um i'm gonna exercise and then obviously i'm gonna remove this makeup first and then after that exercise and then shower afterwards and then also prepare something to eat for supper and um, i'm not gonna cook i'm gonna eat bread and then yeah let's get into the rest of the day
so i wanted to show you guys um if there's a channel that you want to try so you can try heather robertson's and then go to view channel and then there is this workout that she puts like uh, challenges that she puts on her channel like for example here's a 14 day workout program so you can like choose which one you want to do as you can see it says fears 1.0 and then you can see that daily she has like challenges here so she has day one arms and shoulders and then the next two the next day is lower body and then chest and back and then you're going to be following this program for 14 days so this is sort of a good guide like um a good uh you know a workout program that you can follow if you don't know where to start with your workout because you know she already has this done for you so you don't have to ask yourself whether i'm doing arms today or i'm doing upper body today so um this is gonna help in terms of like you know just creating a routine for yourself as you can see i've i've done i've done those things <laughs> i've done the program um before and whenever i feel like i want to do it again i just go back and i start doing it so yeah let me get on with the exercise for today and i'll see you guys later so it is a wednesday afternoon so it's lunchtime and i'm on florida road uh as you saw just now i changed my car keys i swapped them around um and then i put in um the spare key into the cover because the car said uh key battery low right and then now i swap the keys it's still saying key battery low so which key is low then because the other key yes i was using it so it makes sense but the spare key has been sitting and hasn't been used so what do you mean it's still low as well so i'm just gonna go to pick and pay um and get the batteries uh i'm not even sure what type of batteries what size am i supposed to get we i'm not too sure which size i must get Mm, I have to no, I can't go to pick and pay and buy them. I I have to go home and check the size of the battery that I need. But I also don't want any inconveniences in terms of. I don't know what happens when the when the battery is finished. Does the car stop working? <laughs> 
<laughs> because obviously the, the the can is the 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 key to switch on so does that mean the car will stop working like I, I don't want to be surprised while i'm driving and stuff like that just because of a battery but i need the size though i need the size so i can get the right size but i will see though i'll see anyway actually the reason i'm here is, is to do my hair i want to do wig lines um I remember i was supposed to go to what you call the 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 dreads the california dreads and whatever maintenance for the week and then it was full i didn't go so i actually just changed my mind i'm like mm, i got something coming up towards the end of the month which is going to require me to change my hairstyle so i might as well do something simple because i mean one week we're already one week in within like you know october and then i'm also yeah, I'm just going to take two weeks with the hairstyle. So that's why I changed my mind. Secondly, I changed my mind because I bought a cooler box. Because the other day we're chilling with my friend and we left ice in the boot. So when I got home, I forgot to take out the ice in the boot. And my car was wet from that because there was ice in the boot overnight. And I only remembered in the morning when I woke up. So it was stinking in my car. I had to take out the cover in the back seat and um right now sitting in the house so it can get dry and then when i get home i'm also gonna try and spray some vinegar on it that's what my colleague suggested because of the water and the mold so i'm gonna spray vinegar to take away the odor that it has now so i instantly decided to buy a cooler box so yeah that's a budget and she it took away from the other budgets because it wasn't part of my plans this month but yeah so anyway um let me go do my hair hopefully it's not hundred and something because it's just weak lines but you just never know with the saloons especially on florida road they might charge me hundred and something for simple wig lines but anyway let's go and see so i am back and this is how we look like love it guess sana love it um yeah my hair was also like shedding so much like it was shedding so much like when the guy was busy uh head drying my hair I was like child i feel so sorry for you because are you gonna clean this afterwards like i literally was got her to say can i please sweep this hair because it was shedding so much i don't know what's happening but at the same time it's like it's full it's it's there as you can see it's long it, it has grown but it's also shedding so much so i don't know what to do maybe not me hey, i need to do something about it because it was a lot but anyway yeah so when i got the the reason i didn't vlog for you guys when i got there is the fact that i put my phone away i put my car keys away because when you walk into a saloon where the prices are not displayed they actually just look at you and decide how much they're gonna charge you right so i get there and they were like um 150 to 200 for free hand i was like nah child 150 200 for free hand like wig lines and then when I was got her to being like, nah, I'm leaving. And then she's like, 120. I'm like, hmm, can settle for 120. I, I was willing to pay 100 rand. But now that you're saying 120, I guess let me cut my losses with the 20 rand as well and just do my hair. Rather than, rather than driving to somewhere else because that's still petrol, that's still money. So I was like, hmm, let me just um, do it. But that's why I also love Vinci Crown because the prices are there, you know how much you're paying, and then you just leave. And you ask them how much it is. Yo, they look at you and then they're like, this one, we can charge so much. So, I mean, I went there, I hid my phone, I hid my car keys, and yeah, I paid 120 for this. Anyway, so um, the car battery issue, I mean, the car key battery issue i would need to open up a key and then check the size i think i would do it tomorrow uh when i go to work i'll pass by a garage or somewhere to um get the batteries because i don't want drama okay i do not want drama but anyway i'll see you guys later on i'm probably not even gonna speak to you a lot anymore but i'll see you guys later on when i prepare some supper and then we're gonna wrap this vlog up and edit and upload because 
it's October and we're gonna be what? Consistent. <laughs> Bye. So remember earlier on I did say that when I get home I want to spray this uh, boot cover with some vinegar. So I took this bottle of body mist uh, that has finished and I put some vinegar in it. So I'm going to spray this uh, boot cover and then put it out here so it can you know dry up because it's still drying up part of it is still like wet but most of it is like dry so i want to spray with the vinegar to take away the smell and then the vinegar also in here it sort of absorbed the smell of this body mist as well so hopefully it smells nice when i put it back into the car so yeah just gonna do that and hopefully the mold dies as well because you can imagine having mold in my car that would suck. Okay, I think that's enough. I don't want to put too much. But I think I've covered the whole thing.